India's fourth quarter GDP data released Monday showed that economic growth has not come roaring back after the pandemic. It slowed down for the third consecutive quarter, growing 4.1% in the January to March period. For the full fiscal, growth came in at 8.7% provisionally after the pandemic-related contraction of 6.6% in 2020-21. While real GDP in 2021-22 is just 1.5% higher than the level in the pre-pandemic year of 2019-20, indicating that the bounce back following the pandemic has only been sufficient to make up for the contraction in the previous year. Contact-intensive industries were affected by the Omicron wave in January. Trade, hotels, transport and services related to broadcasting is the only sector that is yet to recover fully. It is still 11% below FY20 level. What emerged as another cause for concern was the 0.2% contraction in manufacturing activities in the fourth quarter from the previous year. Experts attributed the contraction to high commodity prices and supply disruptions. Private spending saw a tepid growth of 1.8% in Q4. India's FMCG market grew 6% in the January to March quarter over last year, led by double-digit price growth, according to Nielsen IQ. However, the sector's volume declined by 4.1%. The drop in consumption was more prominent in rural markets, which saw a 5.3% dip, the highest consumption slowdown in the last three quarters. HDFC Bank's principal economist Sakshi Gupta said the consumption recovery remains under a cloud of uncertainty for the ongoing financial year with rising inflationary pressures. However, there are several bright spots too. India's factory activity expanded at a better-than-expected pace last month as overall demand remained resilient despite persistently high inflation, according to S&P Global's Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index. The PMI came in at 54.6 in May, slightly lower than April's 54.7 but above the 50 level separating growth from contraction for an 11th month, the private survey showed. RBA data showed robust credit offtake in April. Banks' non-food credit grew at 11.3%, while loans to agriculture and allied activities expanded by 10.6%. Personal loan segment continued to perform well, registering acceleration in growth to 14.7%, primarily driven by housing and vehicle loan segments. GST collection 2 has remained buoyant, the collection in May for the month of April grew 44% year-on-year to nearly 1.41 trillion rupees. It is down 16% from the record high collection of 1.68 trillion rupees in April. But one must note that collections in May have always been lesser than in April, which pertains to the returns for March, the closing of the financial year. Higher GST collections to an extent have been driven by high inflation, which has pushed nominal GDP growth to 19.5% in FY22. Meanwhile, in the automobile sector, global supply-side disruptions in semiconductor chips had led to declining production and increased delivery timings, impacting registrations adversely. Passenger car sales, tractor sales and two-wheeler sales have been falling for the past several quarters. However, auto sales improved in May compared with April as supply bottlenecks eased. The country's biggest car maker, Maruti Suzuki, reported a 7.1% rise in factory dispatches while Tata Motors' sales, including passenger and commercial vehicles, rose 3.1%. Ashok Leyland's sales spiked 12%, while Escort's tractor sales rose marginally at 1.15% over the previous month. Bajaj Auto's domestic two-wheeler sales registered a 3% increase month-on-month. -month. A significant reason why the GDP number has been low, both during the quarter as well as for the year, is our net exports have been significantly uh, significantly uh, negative. In that sense, if you look at just the resilience of the domestic economy, uh, it's reasonable. Investment has grown by almost 15%. Private consumption has grown almost 8%. These are the two main things which we watch. Now, this is so far as the GDP is concerned. If you look at the other high-frequency indicators, what you will see is that, uh, that definitely, so in 22, we are doing much better than 2120 uh, 20, even the pre pandemic 19 but obviously the growth is uh, the growth is not uh, very substantial we are on the track of uh, growth but the growth numbers are not as yet uh, extremely impressive consumption is something which is not doing very well and within consumption actually urban consumption is doing relatively better but rural consumption is down and that accounts for almost 50% of the overall consumption. So at the overall level, you are not seeing too much of buoyancy. And in the fourth quarter GDP data also, we saw the consumption did not do well and government has significantly increased capital outlay. 
in the budget that is public capex so government rather than just pushing through consumption government is trying to do a investment led growth, uh, growth recovery already we are seeing signs that the public capex has started picking up so the private capex has not picked up as yet mainly because the consumption demand is not very strong and there is significant amount of uncertainty so going forward so uh, as i said all the major indicators whether you look at industrial production you look at in infrastructure index you look at bank credit you look at bank deposit you look at um, four wheeler sales you look at gst collection you see ua number of ua bills uh, you look at electricity consumption goods transportation by railway and so all the high frequency data all these indicators are suggesting that uh, the india has come back to the growth path and there are uh, every possibility that the growth will uh, gather further moment, momentum going forward an 80 year old high inflation soaring energy and commodity prices due to the russia ukraine war are threatening to squeeze the economy amid all this the forecast of a good monsoon has come as a respite a good monsoon will not only help the agriculture sector but also cool off the soaring inflation which is clouding the economy's near term prospects it will also boost rural demand which in turn will help the economy recover if you like this video share it and subscribe to business standard for more news views and insights log on to www.business-standard.com do also follow us on youtube twitter facebook instagram telegram and linkedin